Hello everyone, it's Rita here and today I'm working on Roxy Creations Weekly Challenge number 34. And uh, this is not it. This is um, a little project folder that I just made for myself uh, for my fall cross stitch. I hope it's not too glary, but I just wanted to share it. And especially for my friend Christine, if she's watching, um, she'll like it. She has tons of these little folders and she gets them on Etsy but I thought I'll just make my own. So I did, but not great fabric. It was, um, it's kind of a, like an Indian, uh, type, uh, loose woven where it has the, um, stamping with, uh, wax. It's not real. It's just an imitation. But anyway, that's the image that I get from it or the, the, um, look that I'm getting, but I thought it was fallish. So this is the cross stitch I'm doing. It's called The Way We Ride uh, Till It's To Find the Home of the Wicked Witch. And I just really like the, I hate the glare of the light, but I don't know how to change it. Anyway, I just thought it was kind of a cool design. I may not even put the wording in here. That way I can display this all year long. And this is, and then this fits inside my book here, just like that. I'll lift that one up a little bit it's a little bit bigger and then I can see through this and then here is the uh, beginning of the cross stitch that I'm doing it's like a dark green and a, a, a charcoal color and then that fits inside a lot of stuff fits in here and then here's all my threads that are going to be in this uh, particular um, design already all ready to go and those go in there and then this just closes like that. Anyway, I just thought I would share that because I'm proud of myself. I haven't sewn for so long and it's not, it's not perfect, but you know, it's good enough for me. So and there's the back side. Okay. So that's that. I'll show you. This was my old one that I was using and um, it just wasn't that much pretty. It wasn't pretty enough to sit around and look at. All right, so we're doing Roxy. Um, she was doing using small journal pages, uh, not journal pages. I'm sorry, book pages. And I don't really have a small the small ones. I have this little set of these that I believe Mary sent me. Oh gosh, when I first started, um, I think it was like one of my very first Happy Mails, and I can't. I don't know what this means. I tried to look it up online and I just got frustrated because evidently it's the same name as somebody who sings and it has all the lyrics, but they're nothing I want to listen to. And then I have these two. These are just, I think maybe more like a children's or like a, well, I don't know. I, I really don't know, but I think I got those from either her or Kathy as well. And I know these came from Kathy and, um, I, I, kept thinking what am I going to do with them they're very brittle so I think I'll put these on the back I only have three but we're going to use those up uh, on the backs now I also feel like these are just too flimsy to just be a a journal card even if I cover this and in, in the back I feel like they're too thin so I have I was making a system for myself you know, me and my organization stuff. I was making these file folder hangers for my thread. And what I did was I cut off the part that has the hanger and then I punched holes so that I could string all my threads and then hang them in a file folder. But I have all these left over. I'm not crazy about that color. But I thought I should use these if I can. Um, and I think that, see, we've got this side here, so they could write on that side. And this side, I will cover with the book pages, like, let's see, actually what I should do, probably, I mean, this is totally not her, what she did, but I could almost collage and cut these into journal cards. I wonder... See 
that would be one. Let's see. I really hate to use these. I need to tell you. I really like some of that green showing. Um, I could do it like that. I'm not sure what size these are. I'm going to. I really don't know what I'm doing these days. I think. I have these stomach issues, which evidently um, I have gastritis. Oops, that didn't work. And I never heard of that before, but anyway. So they've got me on medication for it, although the medication feels more uncomfortable than it was when I had the symptoms in the first place. So I don't know. i just taken it, you know, like we all do, one day at a time. Just thought I could get three out of this. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I can't. The other book pages, I don't think they probably need this backing. All right, I'm just going to do that like that. And let me get one out of here. Just going to tear this edge a little bit to get it. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to glue stick these on. And then we're going to glue other stuff on it. I should probably put something down at that bottom one. So I hope everybody's good. Good. Um, everybody's pretty good here. I'm actually going to lose some of that. Um, I think I'll do it that way. Oh, I hate using these pages. I just feel like. I guess they'll just they would just sit in somebody's library and evidently somebody didn't want them anymore it's funny about stuff like that I would think I'd want everything but here I am covering it Whoop. that's nice okay. I also kind of I have a journal in mind um, now this is really, um, I don't know if I'll keep it for myself. I'm going to go down here and get this corner on here. I don't know if I'll keep it for myself necessarily. I didn't get that very straight. But a friend of mine gave me, I'm just going to go ahead and make one down here. Um, probably, I don't know, 20 uh, hankies. And and she's in her mid-80s, or maybe she's, yeah, mid-80s, I guess. And um, I said, I said, are you sure you don't want these? And she goes, yeah. And, well, first I asked her, I said, where did you get all these? She goes, oh, they were mine and my mom's. And I'm thinking, okay, she's like, 80 so that's there are some old hankies and I asked her I said are you sure and she said yeah so I have them but I want to use them in a special kind of way it, I don't mean that I don't know I mean maybe a journal I sell I'm not sure but I want to make sure that um they're, you're, they're used, and we can make them even prettier. I'm going to have to cut some of that off, but I'm not going to worry about it. Just do that. So, um, yeah, they're, they're pretty. And so I was watching this lady today, uh, this morning, 
making fabric journals. You know, I don't know. This has got these lines here. Yeah, let me just take this bottom off. So I thought I would make um, try to do some stuff because she uses um, in the journal she made. I mean, of course, they're all going to look totally different because it depends on what you have. But um, this is nothing like what Roxy was making. Oh well, <laughs> I'm going to save that. Oops, that might be good for a collage or something. So let's just start with these because I don't want you guys to um, watch me sit and cut everything. So I get to the decorating. Okay. I'm not going to ink around these. I may do something later, but I don't think ink would really even show up on it. Okay, so what she did was she found a piece um, that, let's see, what's this? This is like a news. I don't want to put that with that. Let's see. I thought I had enough um, scraps here. I always think I have enough, and then I go to use them, and I don't. Okay, so what her idea is to bring this over to the back, and then fold it like this, so that this piece becomes a tab, like a journal tab. Okay, so on this one, for instance, I may want to put um, this flower here. This was from one of Joey's um, Kofi, Joey Cartmaker, Kofi design. I'm going to go ahead and trim it all. And, um, it was actually sitting on my desk, so I'm trying to use stuff up. I'm going to go ahead and ink a little bit on here. So, for instance, if I have a yellow, um, I don't really want to use, um, what do you call it, glue, you guys? <laughs> I'm just going to go like this. So, if I had a yellow hanky, let's say, and you know, yellow and green are on everything when it comes to flowers, so this might be kind of pretty on, on that, with along with the yellow hanky. Alright, so let's see what this one looks like. I was also going to use um, some of the papers that I had on my, I have on my digitals, on my computer, that are those Italian Florentine, but I better not print anything yet until I get my new print, new new ink, because I think I've used all my ink. Okay, so if I just take this, okay. She, I don't think she decorated them too much because she was short on time, although it seems like it needs to have. Maybe I'll just put a label or a word. Actually, I want more of the book, to leave more book page showing than not, if I can. Okay, so let's just bring this tab up. Let's bring it up to that line. Okay. I guess the glue can go all the way up, can it? Up. 
gosh, this glue, go, it just almost, I don't think it dries right away, but it, it grabs on. This is the PVA glue that I use. Okay, so there's that. And like I said, a, a word or something might be nice up here. Um, I don't know that I want to put a word on it yet. Depends on where I'm, what I'm going to do with it because I don't always like a bunch of words. Okay, so then on the back, um, let me ink this back since it's got the brown color. And I hope this fits in a journal page. It's kind of big. Let's see what it came out to be. It is, oh, five by six. How about that? Okay. Now I could put one of those um, plain papers on the back. This does have writing already on the back. I mean, plain. Okay, I think I'll just leave it because next time I think I'll put this on the back before we do the flip over. Okay, so there's one. So simple. She just does these things so simple. Um, it's like incredible. All right, what other? Um, fairy. This one I could use for fall. That might make a cute tab up here. But I don't have one. Let me just, um, I love that little dog. These are those little cross stitch ones I have. I don't want to just put a square dog on there. Go this way. And she um, was talking about, too, um, you know how you get journal, uh, you get kits, and they have, like, borders on them, special, you know, design, like, or for washi tape, something like that. That's cute. Okay, we'll save that one. But let's see, how can I do my dog here? have to I could probably turn it back if I needed to but sometimes I like them when you know like you put them in a corner pocket and they got the edge hanging out uh, does anybody else do this um, you know when they're just in their craft room and they decide oh I think I'll make some ephemera just this not knowing what you're gonna do with it type that's my thing. I I never know what I'm going to do, and sometimes I feel like then I'm saving all this, and it never gets used. But lately, I have been using it. I really have. I mean, you'd be surprised, like, how many go together with something else. I don't know, that might be sticking out too much. Let's see if we can move them over. I don't have that, so it doesn't have. That's probably better. Add 
add so much to these if you wanted to. You probably want to make you know, just a piece of lace down this side. Or from there to there. I don't know. Okay, and then I was going to say I'd like to use maybe this, but is that too, too close to the same thing? I think we need something with a little more contrast. Let's see. And this doesn't have to be like in that corner. It could be over here, not there, because our talk would be cut off. And that and this turquoise color here. It just was a little bit wider. seems to go with everything. Let's see. So this. Let me see how this would look. This is kind of something that this almost looks like a Florentine paper. I've had this hanging around forever. Let's see, I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker. like that because I think you know it's going to pick up some color so let me ink it and Try to ink it either because it's not. May just break up. around these corners if I wanted. I don't know if I want that to stay out there or not. So let's just put this one up here. If it's not, I mean, it doesn't matter, but you kind of can tell that it's a little wonky there. Okay. Yeah, these are definitely going to need a label or something, but um, like I said, I don't know where I'm going to put it. So... I'll wait, kind of get an idea where it's going to go. There's two of them. Hmm. 
Very easy to do, huh? Okay, let's maybe go up with something a little brighter. Two pieces. Cool. Um, I really like this color, but I don't know if that would look. That looks good together. Um, have any more well this is kind of a strip here how about if I use it might work Take a little bit of this edge here just a little bit of blue I have no idea where this kit came from I've had it again also for a long time. Um, I think this is probably one of the very last pages I have. For some reason, I think it was free. Because when I first started, you know, I'd always go to the free stuff. See what I could find. doesn't really matter. And on this side, maybe I'll do one like that. I like that. glue the back down until I get <clears throat> another paper behind it. I do want They're just kind of not the right green, you know. The leaves are I'm just looking to see it. I also I could use these for the actually I think this would work on a smaller the smaller card that I have.
got my got that same uh, bluish aqua color. See if I can ink a little bit. Mm -hmm. Got around it a little bit. I don't know what this was out of what kind of notebook. It looks like it has um, gold edging. You know, like how the whole thing has got a gold edge. It is a clever idea, really, <laughs> when you think about it. I mean, that's cute. Okay, there's three. How much time have I spent? Okay, let me, let me find that other card. I don't know. It's been, maybe we could do a book page real quick. So, this is too big. So I'm going to fold it. Oops. Doesn't want to be folded. All right. So, let's put something across the top. So we can. Just gonna go like that. Make that a tab. first with some kind of paper. Oh, I missed thinking that. Yeah, I'll just have to come back with a brush. Okay, on this side we need Something to probably should have. I always say that, huh? I probably should have. Um, 
write on this because it's not that um, it is not straight though straight. I'm just gonna do a small space with it so I'll cover up all that I feel like <laughs> that one amped up crooked. Okay, so that is the front. This is the back. Um, so what can we do to the front that would... Um, I need a, like a flower. I sh probably should have gotten more stuff, more flowers and stuff out. I just thought these have been sitting around like this flower on here but let's see mm, yeah it's a little a little too sweet I'm just gonna um, try to go around this a little bit as plus a cut not right on it I'll just leave a border excited I got my little pouch made I've had it for a while you know I just I wasn't into it um, but now that I've made it it's kind of like I, I should do another one I have a bunch of, of the leftover stuff I bought like four zippers they were a dollar each at Hobby Lobby on sale almost last week so I have plenty of big enough zippers which I probably have a stash of zippers somewhere. I just don't know where. It takes too long to find them. Today I had to look everywhere for my zipper foot. And I'm like, this is not good. Not having where your tools are to your machines and stuff. But when I did all my moving around... That's when I lost track of, of that. Okay. So I think it needs something right there. Let me see about a label. And then I guess that will be good for today. I just don't really have a lot. Um, Let's 
that's not too bad. Too long. Too long. Too short. Let me just, just check. I have a whole bunch of fussy cuts I found. Um, I was moving some chairs and I had them in a cabinet. And I don't know where these came from. Anyway, they were in a cabinet and. I pulled this folder out and it was um, a bunch of fussy cut designs and there was a bunch of labels. I think sometimes I just get tired of cutting. That's one, two, three, four. So I can find something else to put on there because it's kind of Blanket. Kind of brownish, um, yellowish. I don't know where this little card came from, but it's cute. This is a bird that's just fancy. Not too small. So then I'm off. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> but it doesn't look that bad. it. I also found um, all this cute fancy um, you know like that yarn that has the fringe and all. I haven't seen anybody use it lately um, in videos but, you know you see somebody use it and you go buy every kind you can or find because I found a lot of stuff at yard sales and thrift stores. And if you don't see it, you don't even remember you have it. Something like that. I don't exactly remember. All right. I like that. Okie dokie. So. I might sew around this one. I have gold thread in my machine right now too. Because it's kind of flimsy. But you can write on that. It's just not quite straight. I might just cover that whole thing. I don't know. I'll decide later. All right, guys. So I guess that's it. Oh, look at I have a little bit of that book page left. So here we are. Our little... Um, I'm going to stick that back in there labels. Oops. Oh, darn. Come on. I can't get it out. Um, 
So thanks again, Roxy, for this week's challenge. It's always fun to have these extra little embellishments um, at our hand, I think. And if you're not making them, um, that's okay. But yeah, they're fun. And um, they're just out of the ordinary. And if you wanted to, you know, uh, make them very cohesive, you could do that. Um, but she kind of makes me out of my box a little bit where I would use something that I normally wouldn't put together. Like this was would be normal. But, I don't know. These, this needs, these two need uh, another element on them. A label or something. Alrighty, so I'm going to let you go and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!